Hey everybody, Mark Bruner here. Uh, it's a nice day out. Uh, thought I'd get out for a little walk. Might be a little shaky. I got you on a selfie stick here. But I'm down here to, as you can see back here behind me, Wyandotte Lake. It's not a very deep lake no more. They dug it out here years ago and they was going to supposedly make it really nice. And uh, they put a shallow dam in back over on that side over there and made it a wetland instead. But we're down here at the, it's a big spring fed lake, but we're down here at the trail and it goes back to the spring. And we're going to walk back in there today. I don't know if we'll be able to actually make it all the way back to the spring or not. But uh thought I'd take y'all along here and we'll uh, go back here and see if we can make it to the spring. But I have a feeling it's running pretty pretty good right now this time of year. And uh, we probably won't be able to make it across. You gotta get back across it there to actually get to the spring head. So we probably won't be able to get that far. But uh the old lake, it ain't what it used to be. It used to be some really good fishing down here. Well, it's a little muddy. Uh, used to be some good fishing. But after they uh, redone it, they decided to, to make it into a marsh, more of a wetland. Let me flip you around here. You can see down in there, a lot of cattails and stuff down in there. And then down in here, it's just, it's real shallow. It still gets a little deeper up there by the dam. There's a few fish in here, but not like it used to be. It used to be, uh, there was a uh, good catfishing, bluegill fishing, bass. You name it, there's a little bit of everything in there. But just not that way no more. Well, it is muddy. I don't know. Yeah, I doubt we'll be able to make it back in there today. But, uh, let me zoom me in. It's a pretty nice spot or it used to be. But, uh, it's overtaken with weeds and grass now and and it's, like I said, it's just not the same. But it used to ride right down here in front of me. It just used to be just full of bluegill beds. And uh, they're just, they're still there, but not like it used to be. We got something big down there in the water right now, but it's probably a big old grass carp. I don't know. Let me zoom you back out and we'll get to walking back in here. Yeah, it's muddy as can be. Uh, hope this don't make y'all sick. Holding this uh, thing here and walking. I don't have one of the fancy ones with the gimbal on it. But, uh, yeah, we'll go back this trail and see how far we can make it till, till it gets to where we can't get across that little spring branch back here. But it's pretty nice back in here. Used to love it when you come down here and go fishing all the time. I had a canoe and this is one of my favorite spots to come down here with a canoe or a kayak and put in and you could get back here and always catch a good mess of bluegill, never failed. Yeah, we just had all a bunch of ice and snow melt off, so it's a Real muddy. Got a spot here where a beaver's chewed off and somebody put a tea light in it. Huh. I don't know what that was about. Guess they wanted to keep the trail lit there. But yeah, there's a lot of. Last time I was back here, there was a. Which has been a couple years ago now. There was a, quite a bit of beaver activity. Uh, right now I'm just going to go ahead and make some tracks back in through here 
and uh, run into something more interesting, I'll bring you back. Hey y'all, we might be able to get back to the spring head today. This is the branch right here. And I'm getting able to cross it. And for some reason, they put in a nice set of steps over here on the bank. But they didn't make a bridge across. That's just some of the silly things the state DNR does, I guess. But if they would have put a bridge across, you could have got through here all the time. I'll bring you back when I get back here to spring head. All right, we're here. Sharp Spring. As you can see, there's a good bit of water running right there. And if I can get back here to the mouth of the spring without falling down, I'll show it to y'all. But it's wet, muddy, been freezing and thawing. Good night and through the day, so we'll see if we can get back here. We made it. Let me zoom y'all in there a little bit. It's a pretty good spring running out of there. Coming out of that big limestone outcropping right there. Like I said, there's a lot of water runs out of there. That whole lake down there is filled with this spring. It's peaceful back here. At one time, there used to be a little building back here where uh, this is part of the adventure trail in the Harrison Crawford State Forest. And there used to be an overnight uh, building back here for people hiking the trail could, uh, could overnight in it. It was, just had a dirt floor, wasn't nothing spectacular, but it's a big old hill right there. But, uh, First time I've been back here for a while. Just thought I'd bring y'all along and share this. Y'all have a good one. Take care. God bless.